Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Nintendo Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Outlast 2. It's the Halloween season, so why not do some horror? And um, yeah, let's just dive in. First of all, yeah, the game is 10.1 GB. I think it's also available on cartridge, but I, it was dirt cheap in the eShop. I think I paid like four euros or five euros or something for it. So yeah, if you just want to play it, go check it out in the store. It's most of the time when it's on sale, it's dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. So yeah, go pick it up. It's it's it's, it's actually a quite a fun game and it looks pretty well even on the Nintendo Switch. So let's go start it up, you guys. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a yeah weekly basis new games, old games, updates on games, sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Red Barrels. I think there's also a... Um, Outlast 3 coming out pretty soon. So there are no graphical options or anything. Yeah, there's a little bit of uh, yeah, ga gamma. You can change that a bit. But not really needed, to be honest. I'm going to do a new game. Uh, I'm going to do normal. It's perfect. So yeah, um, parental advisory. Don't watch this video if you're watching this with young children. This is not a children's game. This is horror. Got myself some nice coffee. Gonna be playing through the first part of the game. I was happily surprised at how well this game actually looks. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. It's uh, one of the better looking third party games I've played thus far. From what I could gather, the game runs at uh, 1080p, so not 1080p, so it's not completely full HD, but nearly full HD. And yeah, it uses a lot of upscaling and chromatic aberrations and motion blur and everything else to get this game running on the little Nintendo Switch system. And I think they did an amazing job. It's actually... Wow. Not gonna lie. This is... Wow. How well they got this game optimized for this little system. It runs at uh, pretty much a stable 30 FPS most of the time. I did notice a few drops here and there. Also in my uh, program that I use, Teardrop. I could find a few drops, but... Nothing special. By the way, in um, handheld mode, it runs at 720p. And it's a great game. Get as much of the landscape behind me as you can. You got me? Yeah, we're good. Hum, hum. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. Okay. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for Newstomorrow.net. We're flying past the Havasupai Indian Reservation in central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Jane Lynn, Doe. Um, I, I don't think you should say murdered. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the And it's really scary know. sometimes. I do think the first Outlast is a little bit better. I don't know why. Maybe it was the first time you got this like pound footage uh, game. There's a lot of chromatic aberration. Uh oh. Outlast 2. 
I think the new Outlast will be called Outlast Trials, if I'm correct. And it will also be co-op. But yeah, this is the game already. Look at this. This is actually really nice. These light effects and stuff. I think I need to put this a little bit slower. Can I put it a little bit slower? Yeah. Look sensitivity, yes. That's better. Still not perfect, but hey, it is what it is. Uh-oh. Wow. That was a little shining. Even on a big screen, right now I'm playing this on a 32 inch uh, monitor and it looks pretty well to me. Normally these games Review footage. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for news tomorrow. Ah, okay. Find Lynn. How do I get to Lynn? Not like that. Psst, that's not the way, by the way. <laughs> the Gospel of Gnome. Here we go. <laughs> nope. A little bit too soon. It's also pretty dark. Hope you can see it better than I do. Even though shadow effects look pretty well. Here we go. Oh shit. Jesus. Is No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. Lynn! Lynn! She wasn't there. Lynn's body wasn't in the wreckage. She could still be alive. It's pretty cool how they do that. Yeah. 
here we have the night fishing grounds. Now it gets a little bit more clear where to go. Oh, oh fuck me! Ew. Oh my goodness. It's a windmill. Thought it was some kind of creature that. Uh. Hello. I'm lost and hurt. It, yeah, I'm actually flabbergasted at how well this game actually runs on the little system. This is scary. That's, oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, this is truly a masterpiece on the little Nintendo Switch. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite horror game is. Maybe it gives me some inspiration to make a video on for the Switch. Which feels a little bit like Resident Evil Village. Yeah. Actually, Outlast was before Resident Evil Village. So a lot of stuff you see in... Um, oh my good... Ah. Nasty. Why? What in What's that? Looks like intestines. God. Dolls? I don't know.
Y aquí. <coughs> nope. Okay. Bring it more up here. There we go. That's some scary stuff. Don't know what you guys think. Oh my goodness. What happened? I fell down. This is still the prologue for the game, so...
drone is from generation. Oh no! No! It found me! No! Ah, darn it. But yeah, you guys, this is Outlast 2 on the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, if you like scary, you're gonna love this game. It's really dark, it's really creepy, and it's really cheap. So it's actually a good game. So go check it out. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. Bye.